Jerry and Jiao, can you please introduce yourself and tell me what you do at Photonics Automation? My name is Jerry Knight Rubino. I am the CEO and founder of Photonics Automation Specialties. And my job is to, of course, run the business. And I'm also uh, the lead engineer here. So I do direct um, both the day-to-day -day direction and the strategic direction of the company. Very nice. How about you, Jiao? Hi, my name is Jiao. So I joined Photonic Automation uh, about a year ago. So my main responsibility is to is for marketing and developing the business. Um, I'm also the uh, principal investigators for some of the research grants that we um, submitted and applying for. All right, thank you. So now, um, can you please tell me what your company does and what markets you actually touch? Sure. Uh, we started um, as laser test engineers, high power laser test engineers, and that's what we, uh, our main uh, product for the, until recently, has been high power laser test equipment. Uh, uh, this is uh, burn-in racks, uh, for which are um, uh, racks that test the uh, laser for lifetime and see if it's able to be shipped, because a lot of times uh, these um, devices, they're very high power devices and they can, you know, it's hard to make them, so some do fail. And we also do uh, performance testing, which tells you uh, how does your laser meet wavelengths, does your laser meet the power requirements, things like that. Uh, just recently, in the last year or so, we've started to get into a side business, which is now possibly becoming our main business, we'll see, uh, of environmental sensing. And this is optical sensing of environmental or uh, other uh, data. And that is also a parallel effort for us. I, I well, do have a point to ask, to add previously, yeah. is that still okay? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, I would I would just say that uh, you know our new effort we're mostly focusing on um, remote sensing and uh, technologies related to that. And we uh, currently one of our big application is in the environmental side. Um, it, that would include uh, sensing of ocean uh, and sensing of uh, forest and soil. Um, but we're also looking into agriculture and mining and including potentially some, um, but just, uh, just remote sensing in general. Great. So when you say remote sensing, can you tell me um, a little bit more what that might mean? Some people might not necessarily understand what remote yeah, sensing means. Yeah, yeah. So, so imagine that uh, you're um, either on a satellite or on, on a unmanned uh, aerial vehicle or mm -hmm. a drone or any kind of glider. Um, what you were, what you're doing is basically trying to find out, uh, you know, what are you looking at? Uh, you know, when you're sensing uh, the Earth's surface or ocean, you're trying to basically understand what are you looking at. This is a lot more efficient uh, compared to um, when you have to um, basically do in-situ measurement uh, spot by spot. So that is largely the effort. For example, you know, one of the big uh, in environmental side is we're looking at the whole um, ocean um, ecosystem. For example, mm -hmm. we're looking at uh, uh, phytoplanktons and algae in the ocean, the entire uh, car carbon sequestration um, in, in ocean. So it's um, that's the uh, environmental application. But of course, you can imagine that can be used to monitor the soil for agriculture, um, the crops, and, and so on and so forth. So there's really a large um, information gathering uh, from remote. Um, we also do in-situ measurement to um, basically both um, to collect data that is um, to, to use together with remote data. 
Great. That sounds really interesting. So now, um, thank you very much. This was a good explanation. So now uh, let me get back to the to the next question. Uh, so what brought you and or the company to Tucson? Uh, well, we already lived here, both of us. So nothing brought us here, but really a good question, I think, is what keeps us here? And, you know, personally you. and, you know, Tucson is a place of great natural beauty. It's got an immense um, resources intellectually with the University of Arizona and the various um, other industries here, especially relating to optics. Being Optics Valley, we have there's a great deal of um, knowledge here. And we have uh, tremendous industry contacts here, and those have been very helpful. And lastly, you know, the intellectual resources of U of A, um, it really gives us, uh, when we uh, intend, and we do intend to grow, uh, it gives us a ready line to um, very good, uh, a very good crop of people to choose from. Great, thank you. How about you, Xiao? Um, I think, yeah, I think Jerry covers this pretty well. Um, I would just say, like, I was, um, I came to Tucson about 15 years ago, and uh, I, I, tend, I worked for larger companies for 10 years, and then kind of slowly moved to smaller and smaller organizations. Uh, I was just very surprised. Um, before I came here, I absolutely don't know that Tucson has a very um, vibrant, is the right, I don't know it's, what, whether it's the right English word of yeah. the startup community. So I was just, you know, very pleasant surprised, pleasantly surprised about that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you. So um, how do you see uh, the work that you uh, that you do as a company um, affecting the future, the future uh, being uh, the future of Tucson, the Tucson community, uh, maybe even the future of um, the larger entity that uh, that we sure. live in. So uh, you, you can be as philosophic as uh, you would like to be. <laughs> sure. Well, as I mentioned before, our company really has two separate business initiatives going forward, high power lasers and uh, environmental and, um, and remote sensing. Uh, as, the las as high power lasers become more powerful, more capable, people are always finding more applications for them. And someone needs to support the manufacturing capability. A lot of companies have this capability in-house, but even so, we are a center of expertise in case they either d cannot fulfill that, um, they don't have the people to do to create these machines to test the lasers, or they don't have the expertise in-house all in one place to do this, where we've done this a lot. So really, we uh, going forward in the future, uh, we expect to grow with the laser industry. And uh, secondly, with the environmental and uh, remote sensing, uh, we really, uh, I think really taking care of the earth is a much more of an emphasis going forward in the future at all levels from uh, the president on down. And any kind of uh, industry or work that supports environmental consciousness or knowing what's happening on earth, uh, and from a big picture point of view, or even a small picture, what's happening in your farm field, what's happening with your water resources, uh, those are our growth areas. And we really would like to take part in it, uh, both as a business and as environmental stewards, as we see ourselves personally, both Xiao and I, and the people in our company. Uh, we really believe in responsibility, taking responsibility. And, um, so going forward in the big picture, that's really how I see us. And going forward in Tucson, uh, we do expect our company to grow. We do expect to hire people and provide employment for people looking to uh, be employed in an interesting uh, industry related to optics. And um, I, guess, I guess that's really what I would say. Xiao? 
Yeah, I think you. Yeah, I think you said most of the things. Uh, I would just like to add that uh, for for a lot of the work we're doing now, like uh, with NASA and um, with other uh, and and with other research institutions, uh, and potentially in the future, you know, for to kind of use our new technology. Um, into the remote sensing and environmental science uh, uh, field is to uh, is that we, we have this industrial industrial background and we're very good at making commercial products. We make things that is uh, you know has a, has a we, we drive the cost down and we make it um, more. You know, streamlined manufacturing process and repeatable from one to another. So we see ourselves in, in, in a sense um, helping the whole in, entire research community, uh, whether it's ocean or uh, other other uh, fields. We're helping them discover new sciences, uh, which is also a you know big part. And for example, um, some of the project we're doing is definitely pushing the envelope of what the current state of art measurement techniques that is available to universities. We talk to, um, you know, the, the top scientists in this field, and they are very interested in getting our instrument so that they can use them to do science and discover new and interesting things and hopefully raise the awareness uh, you know of the whole you know the, the whole climate challenge we are have, we're facing and um, mm -hmm. you know other other type of issues uh, that as Jerry was you know you know putting it very nicely that the awareness of you know uh, of the environment we're living in so that's it thank you so Anything that uh, any one of you would like to add that I haven't asked? Um, no, I mean, I would just, going back to Tucson, uh, I moved here in 2000 and uh, intended to stay two years, and here I am 21 years later still here. <laughs> uh, Tucson, Tucson's a place that, that really grabs hold of you and owns you. And as, once it does, you're here. I mean, honestly, uh, I've never met anyone who willingly left. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's it's just a place that just never gives you a reason to leave, to be honest. It's, it's, it's very supportive. The people are very nice. It's a great place to live. It's a great place to work. Uh, I really couldn't ask for a different, for anything more, really. Great. I, I want to give a shout out to uh, the Arizona Optics Valley. The reason for that is I've been in other industries also, like uh, you know, in Tucson. Um, when I was starting working with, starting to work with, uh, working with Jerry, and get more into kind of more like back into optics. Uh, you know, I haven't done a lot of um, optics things after graduating. Uh, but getting back to into it, I was surprised. I was also like really glad to find that how all the optical companies, like including Leonardo, Leonardo here, like very, um, very kind of like a tight community that people are doing things together. They they know each other. They meet um, on a regular basis to connect. So I think that's where new ideas and new opportunities, uh, collaborations kind of kind of come up, you know, and mm -hmm. I'm really big on collaborating with, you know, other companies and achieving our goals and finding the common ground that we can work together. So I just want to give a big shout out to that. And also for our company, we, we're looking for collaborators all the time. So if someone is interested in us, uh, do reach out. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I agree. Yeah, I agree. It is a it is a great um, a professional landscape where um, cooperation between companies, different companies, even though they are sometimes competitors, is actually uh, an important part. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, thank you very much for the interview.